everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make a basic nameplate and what and I think it is really cool. So first we have to go to create and go to box. Then we pick the plane between the green and red lines. So yours nameplate can be any size you want. But I prefer 50 by 200, like that. Just make sure the width is longer than the length. Like let's say you want 100, if that's what you want. Like you can just experiment with different lengths. Then we're going to change the height to 5. And I'm going to change this back to 200. Operation new body, please. Then you can press OK. Now I'm going to show you something you probably have not seen in my different videos. So we're going to go and click create sketch and make sure to press on this plane where the box is. And you see we have to flip it over since it's, we're going to put our name or whatever on it. So, I don't have any of the things I want to use. We want to create text. So we're going to go under create and it says text right here. I'm just going to move the sketch pillow really quickly. And then you're going to choose where you want the text. If you have an older version of Fusion, it might you might just have to click on this spot. But since I have a newer version, I have to choose the box. And then it says sample text right here. So you type in your text right here. And it's better to do it in caps locks. So I'm going to just type in Fusion 360. And if you have the alignment feature, you can align in the middle or something. To me, that looks like really small. Oh, too big. Whoa. I think 23 is good. You can put whatever you want. I'm just putting Fusion 360 and make sure after this caps lock is off because you don't want to caps lock anything else. It gets annoying if you know what I mean. So then once you're all done, you can press OK. Just make sure the notifications don't get in your way. So I'm going to press finish sketch. Now we have this sketch right here. So now you might ask what to do now. This sketch does not actually appear if you do 3D print. So we're going to make another sketch. So click create sketch. And now you see that I am on the front view. So go to that view. And then press this plane where your box is at. And we are going to be creating a curve. So you can use a split line or the arc. It really does not matter. You have to try the arc because split line is pretty easy to do. I'll just show you the arc. So it's a three point arc I chose. So you make one point. Then it usually does this, which that's why I don't use the arc that much. So you can just do split line. Then go here. If you don't know how to do this, that is okay. You can just go to my create sketch video and see how to do it. So you choose the curve, make sure it's not like this because then that's not printable if you are going to 3D print it. You can uh, always try something. That looks a bit too tall. If you want to pause the video so you can get a very good arc, go ahead. But I am just going to finish up mine.
I think that looks good. Then you can press finish sketch when you're done. So now we have this arc. Now we're going to be using a new tool that I'm going to show you. It's called Sleep. Sleeps a sketch profile or a planner face along a selected path. Select a series of profiles or a planner face to define a shape. Op optionally select rails or a center line to guide the shape. If you saw my pipe video, then you'll know that's a bit like a pipe. And that is exactly what we are going to plan to do. So you realize that this curve is not like this, but do not worry. Like it's not as big. That'll be fine. So let's press on sweep. Then profile, we have to select. We're going to select our text right here from our sketch. Then our path, we have to select. We're going to select the sketch we made right here. And now you see we made this. Make sure it's operation joy and perpendicular. If you want the distance to be like two, if that's possible or whatever, one is good though, then you can press OK. Now we have a nameplate. Yay! So if you want to go back and edit the text, you can click here, like right click, then you can say edit sketch. It'll take you back through the timeline, like we went back in time. Yet say I wanted to change the text, so I can right click and say edit text. Now that looks a bit too big, and it looks weird. So that looks good. Then yes, title finish sketch and yet see how it comes. So now it looks like this. Also, if you put your text outside of the box, it might not show up or it might not be printable. So just keep that in mind that it's in here. So now this is printable. If you want to like, um, let's say this nameplate's still too big. So you can always go to the extrude, then say operation cut so it makes this. Let's do the same for the other side. So now that looks good. Also, if you want to save this, don't forget to. I will save mine, of course. If you want to like go under render and change the um, material, go on, go on ahead. If you don't know how to do that, go to my render and appearance video to see. So that is it. This is always a good practice to experiment with modify and creation of tools. And also, if you have any ideas for a tutorial, please let me know and I'll love to figure it out for you guys. That is it for this video and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Bye!